Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Life in the Village. This is an awesome mod pack that basically takes villages and takes them to another level. In Minecraft, as you can see, it has the Malinaire mod that in NPC-based villages on different cultures, they completely live on their own. And then there's Mine Colonies, which will allow you to create your own colony where citizens will obey your will. So pretty cool stuff there. Basically, it's a village-based mod pack and just overall a ton of fun in Minecraft, one of the better mod packs out there. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server running the Life in the Village mod pack. That is right on Apex. You can set up a server with the Life in the Village mod pack in just a few clicks. It is quick, it is simple, it is easy, and you will absolutely love it. If you want to play Life in the Village with your friends, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the only way to do it. Again, you can check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get your Life in the Village mod pack set up very, very quickly and very, very easily. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this installed. And actually, this page that I'm on right here, you don't even need it. This is just basically an information page about the mod pack. We just need to go to the second link in the description down below, which takes you here. This is the Twitch launcher tutorial that we have on our website, and it walks you through everything you need to know to get the Twitch launcher set up for your mod packs. However, we're gonna be doing all that in this video. Once you're here though, just click the download Twitch button this here, this yellow download Twitch button. That takes up to Twitch's official website where you wanna click the download for Windows button under the Twitch app for Windows. So download for Windows there. It's going to download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to save or keep the file. However, if you do, it is safe to do so. This is from Twitch's official website. Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save the file probably in the center of your screen, but it again is safe to do so. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have the Twitch setup download. This is in our desktop. It's in your downloads folder. Just go in the little Windows icon, the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and you'll find Twitch in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once Twitch is on your desktop, go ahead and double click on it. Then this installs just like any other program. As you can see, it opens up this cool little installer here. Just click on that purple install button and then it'll go through and install and do everything it needs to do. Now, once it opens up, you will need to go ahead and log in to your Twitch.tv account. Nothing too crazy, but it is something that you need to be aware of. You do need a Twitch TV account in order to play the Life in the Village mod pack. It's a little annoying, I know, but it's just how things work. Now, as you can see, it closed out. It looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. Your computer is working. Your computer is making things happen, and it eventually will install and then open up the Twitch app. However, there you go. It opened up the Twitch app. However, if you wait a few you know, seconds, about a minute, and it doesn't open up, you can't open it with this shortcut it created on your desktop. That is me, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. However, I am going to probably have to log back in. I figured, so let me go ahead and log into my Twitch account. You can do the same here. You will need to log into your Twitch account in order to install this mod pack. Again, kind of sucks, but it is just the truth. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll see you after a quick jump cut once we've logged in. There we go. We have logged into the Twitch app, and here we are, just basically on the Twitch desktop app here. Basically, the homepage of Twitch is what this is, but in an app form. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on Mods up here in the top menu bar, and then you should have Minecraft, but if you don't see it highlighted here, go ahead and click on Minecraft here, and then click the Install button. So all you want to do is click on Minecraft there, and then click on the purple Install button. And then go through and get Minecraft ready for you. Yes, it's downloading and installing everything it needs to do for Minecraft. Then, once you're here, you can go ahead and click on the Browse Mod Packs button here, and then go ahead and search right over here towards the right-hand side of the screen, Life in the Village. Boom, hit enter, and there it is, the Life in the Village mod. You can confirm this is the correct one by the amount of downloads. As you can see, it's over 600,000 downloads, and as long as the one you're downloading has more downloads than that, you are good to go. Let's go ahead and click on the purple install button here. To get that to show up, by the way, just hover over this mod pack and click on the purple install button, and then go ahead, download, install, do everything it needs to do in order to get this mod pack up and running. So. As you can see, 4,000 files. It's going to take it a second, so let's go ahead, do a quick jump cut, and then once it's done installing, I will see you to show you how to play it and get everything launched up with the Life in the Village mod pack. There we go. Life in the Village is now downloaded, and as you can see, it's got this play button. It's there permanently, and it should be at least. If it's not, though, you can simply hi highlight over. Just put your cursor over high Life in the Village, and then go ahead and click the purple play button there. Then it's going to go ahead, download some stuff for the Minecraft launcher, and then open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you will need to log into the Minecraft launcher using the same login info that you would normally use on Minecraft's main and real, like actual Minecraft launcher. It's because that is going to be the real Minecraft launcher, right? Twitch uses the actual Minecraft launcher to launch mods just like it should, right? I don't know. It's just very, very simple. That way you're not having to trust Twitch with any login information for Minecraft or anything. You're only trusting it with Mojang. So here we go. We are in the Minecraft launcher and once we're in here, we will need to log right on in. Let's go ahead and enter our email here. 
and then we can enter our password and then click log on in to the Minecraft launcher here. Again, that's the same information that you would use on Minecraft.net to change your skin or in the default and normal Minecraft launcher. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click play here. It should say life in the village over here to the left. If it doesn't say life in the village down here, just close out of the uh, Minecraft launcher here. Click on play on life in the village there and then go ahead and it should say life in the village and click play. Now, before we click play though, I'm actually going to click on installations up here at the top. Why am I doing this? Because I want to add more random to this mod pack. So here's life in the village. Come over and click these three dots next to life in the village and then click on edit. Then you can go ahead and click on more options here and change the amount of RAM. XMX 3 Two, two, eight is three gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to six. You can upgrade it to whatever your computer can run. I'm also gonna set our resolution to 1920 by 1080. That way you all can see once, again, once we get in game. And then I'm gonna click save, come back over here to play. Again, confirm it says life in the village down there. And if it does, click on that green play button. So now I'm gonna go ahead, it might download some things, do some stuff, and then it will open up Minecraft with the life in the village mod pack installed. It's that simple, it's that easy. The first launch up of a mod pack like this is going to take some time though. So just be prepared for that, right? It's not gonna launch up instantly. It's going to take some time. And if in the startup process it freezes, your screen goes white, or if it crashes, most likely what you need to do is add in more RAM, right? So just add more RAM like we just did. That's why I did that before, right? So if you went ahead and added RAM, you wouldn't have that issue. But if it does crash, you have issues, add more RAM, and you should be good. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and do a quick little jump cut until everything is started up. We are good to go, and yeah, that'll be that. So as you can see here, it's actually an example of it freezing. I want it to freeze because boom, there we go. I wanted to freeze in the video there. That way you guys will be able to see what would happen. It freezes and boom, it works itself out and we're good to go. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu. And um, once we're there, you'll be able to see it's installed and you'll be good to go. And there we go. Life in the Village is set up. I don't think there's any denying we are in Life in the Village. As you can see, Life in the Village there. You go into options. You can also see like things like, I always like to do this. Like you can see all the different controls that are like double taken here. I would recommend going through here and clicking show conflicts and actually like sorting a lot of these out because there's a lot of different controls here that are um, overlapping that you might want to change. So awesome stuff there. But there we have it. We have Life in the Village installed. If you have any questions about the Life in the Village mod pack, let us know in the comment section down below and come play with us in the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.BreakdownCraft.com, and we have Medieval Survival, which is absolutely incredible way to do Minecraft. Right? We have over 30 custom quests, and it's green protected. It's absolutely awesome. It's got a player-based economy on it, and we have Aquatic Survival, which is a slash shop-based economy, and just an awesome community over there. Loves for more automation, things like that. And then we do have Custom Skyblock. If you love Skyblock, you will love Breakdowncraft Skyblock with OP enchants. Just a ton of awesome fun. So come play with us. Play.BreakdownCraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been the Breakdown. Enjoy the Life in the Village mod pack, and I am out. Peace. So I knocked a pin off my desk in the outro there. Anyway, peace.